Okay, today we're visiting Switzerland. I think these are beautiful. Look at these. You know, this is a work of art because they didn't take the picture and put it on a stamp back then. They had to make the plates. So that was a work of art in order to create this on a plate with all its detail and everything. It's so beautiful. I love it. These are cool. Just like these are too. All of these are kind of neat. All right, let me take you through all that we have from Switzerland. Starting with this 10 one, 1931. And up in this side too, we have another 1931. All right, then we get into these here. This one's a 10. Then we have a 40. Look how this one has the two different colors, so that had to go through printing twice. Once for the bluish kind of design and the other one for the orange. This is where some become valuable when they go back through the second printing and they're put upside down or something like that. Then they end up out in the public before they catch it and correct it. But of course that's not the case for this one. And we have two different fives. We have the brown one here. And then underneath, right there, you see in good condition and everything, a green one. And we have a two. And we have another two in brown. Brown coat. A 10, a 20, a 25, and a 40 in black and white. All oh, very nice ones. I like these. Okay, and we have another 20 here. Let me get down to some of these. There's a 10. A little harder to see the picture because of the postal stamping. And this one here. See, that one has a 10. This one, I believe. Oh, it's a 12. Brown one's a 12. And the horse and bugle. It's a 20. Then we have the little fella. He's a three. And a five. Then we have these ones here. Ten. And kind of like a turquoise. Ten purple. Fifteen in purple. See it says nineteen twenty. Another twenty. A 20 in 1920. And of course you can see underneath the other one that's also a 20 in good condition here. And then a 30. And these that I find very interesting. Look at that. So beautifully designed. I love it. Franco. 50. A thirty. I think that's nineteen ten. A twenty five. A twenty. These are pretty. I love these beautiful ones. Okay, and the last row here. 1958, 
and 8.30. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And if you wish, you may always fan fun me. That's that little eye in the upper right hand corner. That allows me to get out there and get some more of these great finds and bring them right to you in video form. I'd appreciate it. Alrighty. Bye bye now. Okay, today we're visiting South Africa. Okay, let's start with some of these right here. Right at the very beginning. You have one half D. Both of these, you know, one is a lighter green, but as you can see, all in good condition. Just the way it was put on here. I think they were expecting a lot more than what they did receive. I think it's all in good condition. So these are two, one half, just different shades of green in them and a different design. Okay, then you have the one of the ship. Okay, then here we have a one half D. A 1D, and a one and a half. And we have this one here, that's a 2D. Nice to see the architect of buildings and stuff. It gives you a general idea of what it's like over there. Beautiful artwork. Of course, this had to go through printing twice. Once for the kind of burgundy. And then once for the portrait that's black and white. In the center. Here we have a 4D. Kind of gives you an idea of the country way. Okay. Then we have a 3D. Wow, that's a beautiful one, isn't it? Elegant buildings and everything. Very nice. And this one here. Oh, this one's all in blue. Well, the other one is two. It's also a 3D. This one's all in blue. While the other one is red with a black and white portrait. Now let's get right underneath here so that you can see stamp itself is in great condition. It's just the way it was put in the book. All right. Then we have a two and a half C. Getting into more colors here. All right. And then right here, we have a 1S. This is where you're getting into the older ones. A 6D black and white portrait surrounded in purple. This is a 2D. This one looks really old. And you have a 1D. All in red. Alright. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more as we travel around the world through old and rare postage stamps. Bye-bye now. Okay, here we are with some postage stamps from Egypt. That one right there looks interesting. As does that one there. But let me take you through all of them. Okay, here we have a 20, a 10, another 20 in a different design, another 10, 20, wow, look at the architect, a lot of work into building that one, and we have 
what this one here is a 10. A5. Down to this one. Wow, look at all of that. Beautiful stones. A lot of work there. That's a 10. Here's another 10. Beautiful. Elegant. Oh, this one's upside down. Doop -doop -doop. I'm going to show it to you the right way. Yeah, flip it. Don't worry. There you go. There's a four. Now we'll turn it back around for the rest of them. Here we go. Okay. And this one here. 35. And we have a 10. And another 10. Just different colors. And we get to an 80. A can't quite see that one. Underneath here we have a 10. Well, they come up from each other. Oh, there we go. So you can see it all. That's an 80. My finger's in the way. Let me see if I can get this for you. Okay. 37. Okay. And the beautiful 10. I like that one. And this one here. Ah. That one's a 55 M. Let's push them back up there. So Lucy. Okay, and we have this one's a 20. We have a 1. We have a... This one can come right out, I think. There you go. A 100. Wow, I like that one with that green background like that. That's kind of neat. And a 200. These are our official ones. Alright. And we have these two. Of course, you can see the whole stamp. There you go. I'll tuck him back in so we don't lose him. There you go. All right. Got some loose ones there, so they got to go in a special envelope so I don't lose anybody. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Oh, did I catch this one? Oh, my. I think I skipped them. After I went through that one and that one, I skipped these two. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then that one there. Alright. Okay. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more of wherever we travel. These here were Egypt. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, we only have a few of each one of these uh, different countries. Trasmania, Thailand, and Transbol. So I'm um, put them all together into one video. So here we have a one-half D, Transmania. And this one here, a 1D. Now, this is Thailand. We have a 20. Another 20, just different design. And a 21D. 
25. Look at that. Very different for that one. Then we have a 20. And a 15. I think out of this one, these two are the ones that are a little bit different. Okay. And Transvaal, we have only two. We have a one half D. And a one D. All right. Short video, but they're there. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Bye-bye now. Okay, here we have some postage stamps from Tuva. Most of them are airmail, but they're not all airmail. So let me take you right through them. Here we have a beautiful diamond shape, 15. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Love the extra design around it all, but the portrait in the center is good view of how things were. Okay, and we have this one here, a two. Here we have a 15. Oh, look at this one for a 50. Reminds you of the old <coughs> Western movies, huh? Not only do you have, you know, the man on the horse, but look in the background, you got some more too. So it's unique to have that, you know. They take care of the background very nicely. Okay, and here we have another one, a little harder to see, three, because it's red. You see them working there. Beautiful design. And this one here is a three. Nice view of the mountain and the lake. There we go. Now look at this one. Here's a five. The man on the horse on one side. Now again with the mountain and the lake. Just need to Make him come all the way out here. He's all there. And look at that one. One. Look at that look. Registered. right up so you can and have you see it all so you know it's all there okay and this one here air mail took three look at the beautiful design of that isn't that beautiful just love how they just make it all flow this is 1921 to 1936. Beautiful. And we have some more right here. There's a one airmail with the airplane right in the middle. Ah, that's what was there. I didn't quite really pay attention to that. And the airplane's right there. On that one, on the three, as it is on the one. I think I like it better in green. It's pretty. Okay, and look at this, 15. Ooh. Isn't that nice? What a nice one. That's a work of art. And that's what a lot of the postage stamps are. It's really a work of art. Because it wasn't take a picture and put it in. Back then you had to make the plates for it. It's 
So that in itself was a work of art. And look at this one. See how the buggy has the uh, metal wheels? As you see in some of the old 1930 tractors. And if you notice, it says 19 something, 1936 to 19 something, 1921 to 1936. There you go. Beautiful picture. All right. Let me have a few of these. A50. They are talking to the men. Look at that one. Airmail. Ooh. Oh, look at that. One of those balloons floating. Scares the horse and the man on the horse. Wow, that's kind of unique to do that. Put that on a stamp like that. Very interesting. All right. And I don't see a value of this one. Nineteen twenty one to nineteen thirty six. Oh yeah, right there. There we go, seventy five. Some good ones, huh? Pretty much all around the nineteen thirty six era. Alright. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. We'll bring you some more. Bye bye now. All right, today we're visiting Straits Settlements. Visiting some of their old poster stamps. And we have a few here. Look at this. Beautiful tan. Kind of in a, like a yellowish, creamy color uh, paper. Postage revenue. And we have a tan blue. And look at this one. 50 in green. Isn't that something? Very different. Okay. And we have a 5 cent. It says 1907. Here's another five cents in brown. Postage revenue. Okay, now here comes another one that I think is rather rare. Look at this. Kind of like on a, eh, not really orange, but maybe a faded out orange kind of paper. These are a different color paper. I wonder why they done that. If you happen to know, leave it in a comment. I don't know if this was during any war time or something. It's just different. Four cents. It's another four cents. All right, look at this one. A three cent. Another three cents. Four cents. Another four cents. A one cent. And another one cent. All right, so very interested in these colored ones. Well, let's go to the next page that we have a few more. cents and a six cents 
a 12 cents. Here we have a 3 cents. And a 12 cents. Okay, now here's some more that are rather interesting. Look at this. A 2 cents. A 4 cents. Look at these. 5 cents. And a 3 cents. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and share these videos with other stamp collectors or dealers. Let them all see what's out there. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Australia and Bulgaria. So let's start with the Australia one. Have a nice 50 cent one there, right there. And a nice 20 cent one. And down to the more traditional beginning ones. It's a 3D. A 3.5D. A, a 4D. We have a couple of 5Ds here. Another 4D. And a green 5D. And a 3.5. And, and It's a 5D. Two D. A one D. And of course the four D, the little bear. So cute. A five D. 60, beautiful bird. And this guy comes in three and a half. A 3D. And another 3D. Just different colors. Then we have a 4C. And a 5C. And here we have a 7C. Now we'll take you to just a couple of Bougania. All I had was two of these stamps, so we'll put them in with this video. Look at them. A four and a five. Very different looking. It's like a metal and everything. Very nice. All right, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more old, rare, and vintage poster stamps. All from around the world, so travel around the world through the old poster stamps. They're all artwork. Beautiful. Bye-bye now. Okay, today we're showing you Trinidad and Tobago and Urania. So let's get going on these. Very different stamps. Here's a 1D. Look how beautiful that is. Very nice. And then kind of in red, a one and a half D. Red doesn't show up as clearly as the brown does. Brown is very classic looking. 
Okay, then we have these here. They're one and one half. One half penny. And we have a one penny. And then this one penny is war tax. Very different. Okay, then we have the 12 cents. And we have a one cent. And then down here we have a one penny. See how the other ones just say penny? This one here says one penny. Okay. Now we'll take you over. Flipping over here. I put my page holder there. All right. Urania has a 20. Look at that. Isn't that different? Very differently designed. Okay, then we have some tens. Have a fresh one on top. And underneath, we have another ten. And we have a twenty. And a fifty. All right, and that's all we have of them. We don't have too many. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing you this short little video. But these are important stamps and we need to see them all. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, today we're showing you some U.S. stamps. We have Washington and then we have some airmail stamps. So let's start with this one here. It's a one-half cent. Brown Washington. We have a one cent, 1732 to 1932. Another one and a half cent, 1732 to 1932. A two cent, just a little different in design and stuff. 1932, a three cent, purple, a brown cent, 1732 to 1932. See how this one's written completely different, kind of like on a ribbon underneath his portrait, just to make everything different. And down here, we have a five cent one. Pretty blue. This one's kind of like a faded out brown. 1732 to 1932. These apparently are all Washington 1932 stamps. It's a seven cent. Wow, looks like he really slimmed down on this one. A black one, black and white portrait. And we get into the eight cents. 1732 to 1932. Different design. nine cent one and a ten cent one. They're all just a little different in their poses but they are all 1932. All right. Now we'll go to showing you a few of the airmail 
Air mail stamps. Here's a five. Look at that pretty, isn't it? U.S. Airman mail. And we have a six cents. Same globe with the wings. Another eight cents. And the price must have really gone up. Because we're up to 16 cents now. And we have the small ones. That was seven cents. Seven cents in red. Seven cents in blue. Then we have eight cents. And another six cents. And a five cents. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, here we have a few of the early U.S. Postal stamps. So we'll bring them right to you. Starting with this one here. A two cents. Another two cents. All just a little bit different. Somehow, let's see how that's. You can see the difference. Okay, so another one really looks slim neck, huh? Yeah, the two cents up there. And some more two cents. But this one, this one's really different, isn't it? Some of them mark so much, you can't really see too much, huh? It's all in the way the post office stamped it to show that it was used. Different design on that one, huh? Going all around. And we get into different colors of three cents. And another three cents. So just a little different. Oops. Down here, another three cents. Almost makes it look like it's on cloth. Fancy lace. And if you notice in the bottom, it says U.S. So that makes it different. Three cents. So these two are really rather different here. Okay, and then we have a four cent in brown. Oops, that was four cents. That was the Christmas one, 1962. And four cents of Lincoln. And we have a few other ones here. 20 cents. A 25 cents. A 30 cents. And a 50 cents. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more of the old postage stamps as we find them. All right. Bye-bye now. All right. Here we are visiting Portugal and the Portuguese colonies. 
So this one here is just a Portugal. Let's go right here. Here we have a two. And we have this one here is a five. Very nice. And this one here. another five. This one here looks kind of rough. I think you kind of seen the better days, huh? Very nice. Doing good. All right, and then I think this is the same fella on this one here. Very nice, unique postage stamps. All perfectly aged, ain't they? They're beautiful. So this is also artwork. It's not just postage stamps you're looking at. Some of these are very old. Some of them are rare. These ones you see quite often. Got the 30 and the 50. Riding horse. This is sailing for 30. That's another 50. Okay, then look at this. Isn't that a beauty, huh? Beautiful one. Ten dollars. Love the old buggies. Old carriage, they're beautiful. Very elegant looking. And we have this one here. Getting into the colors now. And then this one here, 1840 to 1940. Okay, now we're going to go into the Portuguese island as soon as I can grab it here. There we go. And we only have a few here. There, beautiful. Look at that, it's, what is it? One half C. And we have two of them. Now they're actually from different Portuguese colonies. If you notice at the bottom. Both different. Same picture, one half C each, just different, that's all. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll travel some more around the world through the old, rare, vintage, beautiful artwork. That was part of our history in postage stamps. All right, bye-bye. All right, here we have some old and rare Romania stamps. Some are just old, some are rather rare. I think this one here may fall in the line of rare. And it took two printings to get this. One for the brown and white, and the other, of course, for the red face for the portrait in the center. But let me take you through all that we have because some of these are pretty old. Some of them are common. This you would find as a common one. And we go down here. This one's interesting. One and a half. Benny. 
is a one. And they started coming out a little bit smaller here. Here we have a three. Then we have a 15. Almost looks like it says 93 for the year. Not totally sure. Definitely a nice old rare and vintage one. And we have that one there. And that is a one and a half. Okay, then we got this one here. It's a little more common. Then we get back down to here. We have a 15. Here we have a 25. We have a 10. Huh, it says 6 October 896. Probably means 1896. What do you think? Interesting, that's for sure. Here we have a three. Beautiful one. Nicely designed. Then we have a five. I believe this one's a rather rare one. And here we have a 15. A 3. A 10. Another one and a half. Rather smaller than the other ones. It's a small one. Then a 15. Okay, and we have the one we brought to you at the very beginning. Right here, the one. And we have a five. Twenty in purple. These are very elegant looking. Twenty-five. A fifty. This one says nineteen oh four. A two, same portrait in a one, and we have a ten of the young boy. A three and a one. Right here we have a four. Ah, wait a minute, four. All right there, six. It almost looked like it was just an E. Okay, tax to plate, number 10. That's a nice old one. Twenty-five. And this one here. Also a twenty-five. 
Okay, so I think maybe the rarest one will be this one right here out of this video. If you know better, by all means, leave it in a comment. I'd appreciate that, and so would everybody else who looks at this video. All learning. So between this one here and that one there, there are a couple of nice oldies. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and if you wish, you may always fan from me. That's that little eye in the upper right hand corner, and that will allow me to get right out there, find some more great finds, and bring them right to you in video form. Alright, bye bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Spain. I don't know why this one has a hole. Almost looks like, is that the way they marked it at the post office? Not totally sure, it's a perfect round. Very different. So if you know anything about that, by all means, leave it in a comment. Let the rest of us know. Okay, in the meantime, let's go see what else Spain has to offer. Look at this beautiful one right here. Got a blue. That one's a 40C. A green, which is 5 cents. A 10, 10 cents. 15. And this one here is a 10. Very different, isn't it? It's red, it's a little harder to see, isn't it? Then we have a blue one. Love all the elegance around the portrait. It's so beautiful. Look at that. This one's a two. This a one, Una. A twenty-five, a thirty, a fifty. So this is a ninety-four. So these are some really good old ones. The one I brought to you at the very beginning. I find very interesting. And this one here. Look at anything. Another one. Beautiful. This one's a fifty. Oops. Oh, can't forget this one. A fifteen. Another twenty five. All right, let me get a few more here on this other page. These ones are a little bit more common right here. Fifteen. A one. Twenty-five, eighty, forty, sixty, fifty. Now this is rather different. Look at this one. A five. Very different, huh? And at thirty, that's seen better days. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. 
Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll travel around the world some more viewing old and rare poster stamps. Bye-bye now. Okay, here we have the Presidents of the United States. They're all stamps, and it goes all the way to Richard Nixon. Okay. It's number one, George Washington. John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, John Quincy Adam, Andrew Jackson, this is just a presidential seal, Martin Van Buren, William Harrison, John Taylor, James Polk, Zachary Taylor, Millard Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, Useless Grant, Rutherford Hayes, James Garfield, Chester Arthur, Grover Cleveland, Benjamin Harrison, Grover Cleveland, huh, 22nd and 24th, okay, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Taff, Woodrow Wilson, Warren Harding, Calvin Coolidge, Hebert Hoover, Franklin Roosevelt, Harry Truman, Dwight Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, London Johnson, and Richard Nixon. Okay, those are the first 37 presidents of the United States. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more interesting postage stamps. Bye-bye now.